I had a question about a product for you. What the hell was it? Oh, you know, like a regular prism? Uh huh. D are those manufactured in a different print run than just like the regular card? Mm -hmm. They are, but yeah. we don't know to yeah. what extent. Yeah, they're more limited than like a, a standard. Just a case. regular card, okay. They're just not numbered. Okay. So, yeah, because all that has to go through a separate. It's the same form, but it's a different substrate that goes on it. So, you know, those sheets are printed individually yeah. to, a different, to a different sheet count. And then a different color ones, like blues yeah, and absolutely. yellow. Same, same deal. Different they're just not count. numbered, but they're just a different yeah. color. And some, and some actually, some of the unnumbered prism colors sometimes are shorter print than the numbered ones, but we let kind of people figure that out at the end. Oh, they'll figure it out. It, yeah, absolutely. They'll they, they always do because they, you know, because it just brings a little mystery yeah. and intrigue into the product about, hey, what did we get, you know, so... Okay, I always wondered that. And at least you put prism on the back. Yeah, I mean the other people don't put anything on the back anymore, <laughs> and I'm, I'm I sometimes try and figure out if it is or not. Yeah, and the reason <laughs> I can't tell. the reason they don't is because it's a black plate change and okay. it's an additional cost. But after we've learned by doing, and we think that it helps the end consumer, so it's worth to sink the additional Just cost and there. make the black plate change. Do you guys have any questions for Panini? Because yeah. you know during the week we're always thinking of all these questions. And, and now's our time. And the one question we had was we opened up some fancy packs, right? right. I, I get fancy packs, the, the Cybers and the Black Fridays. And there was a card. Didn't have one-on-one -on, -one on it or anything. It looked like a printing plate, but it wasn't a printing plate. Test proof. Okay, it's a test proof. So it's just like yeah, a color. It's, it's, it's a regular it's card. Like, it looks like it's washed out a little bit. Yes, yeah, regular it's, card stock. Yep, yeah, it's a test proof. So it's the first sheets that they run off the press okay. where they're testing the four color process CMYK. Yes. So it looks like it's a printing plate but it's not actually the reverse negative plate where they impress on the card. It's the first couple of sheets off. So some those aren't technically necessarily one of ones because there can be multiples of it because we may run take because they just run them. Um, but we've started to, you know, fold those into some product. There's, there's still, some marketing they still got to be somewhat rare though. Oh I mean, yeah, there's the no more there's no more than probably three or four of them. Yeah. They're not technically one of ones. Does it take a lot to number cards then? The, the, the whole the pro why couldn't you just slap a one of four on them or well, whatever? Well, I mean, we can. It's just another. It's just another step of the process. Yeah. You know. Do you get to go step. to these places and see how this stuff's Absolutely. done? And you can, that's come, your you thing. can come down and see it. We print everything in Texas, so it's yeah. printed. No, in. I meant you. I'm sure it's proprietary. I can't just walk in there and be like, "Show me how oh, everything no, works." Oh no, no, yeah. But I, mean, <laughs> I meant for your job. You yeah, get to. Absolutely. That's what you do, right? But I mean, right? if you would come down and visit us at our office and you wanted to go take a factory tour, I mean, we. Oh man. We have those things all the time. It's a really. Get away from Texas. So. That's a really Texas, phenomenal. It's Texas. a phenomenal process. It's a lot of. There's a lot of hand labor that goes into building cards. I know. That's a really ugly signature, but somebody's going to get Look it. Look at that package. cool 2016 NFL draft. These were made by uh, Matt. He does his company's called One Star. The guy's really, really talented. He's really, really good. A friend of mine. NFL 2016. I'll never forget that. <laughs> Panini rules. Draft weekend. Top shelf number one. Oh, yeah. Top shelf number one. <laughs> See, the thing is, he's going to go next door and sign some stuff, and he's going to put it for the rest of the guys, too. <laughs> That's a good one to have. So what we're going to do is have him and Scott yeah. uh, do a pen pals kind of thing, and yeah. maybe they can bust on each other a little bit, or they're going to both sign them. So we need to sign up here. You can do it however you want. You can put a line. You can put a face. You can do <laughs> – you just do whatever you want. Okay. So I got to – let me get these. These are from Kevin H. <laughs> It's a pretty elaborate auto, though, Kev. I like it. It's thought out. So tell us about some things you have in your office. I keep hearing you mention about your office. Like, do you have stuff everywhere I have st I have or a, organized? I have a small card shop in my office. <laughs> uh, I have a lot of product. I have a lot of my own personal collection that I display. Yeah. Um, you know, as you can imagine, I get a lot of boxes that roll through my office, both as sample boxes and... Um, both the competitor product and things of that nature, um, and our own stuff that we have. So, um, my office is like a little. You should store. take a picture and tweet it out. We'll be I, dying no, I'm, to see I'm what afraid people may break in the building if they actually see what's there. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> it's possible. People in this business. There's are lots of goodies. This will be Will T's. How many persons? Hmm. Uh, like, like five or six. Okay. Vernon Davis. 
that's fine. Right. 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 In planning mode, because I know I am for the national. Absolutely. I live for conventions. Do you? I live for conventions. I did a bunch of Star Wars stuff with their signers and yeah. their, their autograph hall. I live for them. I just love them. Do you get excited about them, or do you it's think them as labor? <laughs> yeah, it's it is. a lot of work. I mean, is I, it the most work of the year, probably, um, planning for them? I think it's the most intense days of the year. I don't know if it's the most work because our, you know, I've I've got long strategy plan, long term yeah. strategy plans um, that I've got to do in my daily job. But I think from Wednesday to Saturday of that week, it's probably the most exhausting four day stretch that we have. Bar none. I mean, it's fun. I enjoy it. A lot of time on your feet. Yeah. Meeting, customers, meeting people and stuff. Yeah. People qualifying people for our VIP event. Um, you know, watching people move through the silver pack line. You know, all those things. It's 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 exciting for me. But by Sunday. Um, <clears throat> Do we have any news I can um, extract out of you on any uh, no, I, fancy things going down I, no, at the party this year? I don't think – there's nothing I can reveal yet. We've already started planning. Okay. Uh, the party in Atlantic City I think is going to be top-notch. Um, it's going to be, you know, very VIP-esque like everything else that we've experienced. Yep, yep. Um, and there will probably be a new wrinkle or two this year that, uh, you know, we haven't done in years past. So look forward to those mm. announcements coming up. So. Um, it won't be necessarily the same old, same old, uh, but it's going to be a different way where we're going to uh, interact and engage with our customers and, and bring them closer to the athletes who they all, you know, um, you know, collect and you know aspire, uh, you know, to have in their collections. I mean, our our lineup at the VIP party the last couple of years has been outstanding, from you know, guys like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to Kyrie Irving, Tyson, to Tyson, Tyson, you know, and. Um, you know, we got a pretty high standard to live up to, so you know we're, we're already hard at work to try to get the people there in mm -hmm. the summertime, and um, I think it's going to be fantastic. Well, you guys do it right. I mean, that was my first VIP party last year, and yeah. I was completely enamored. Blown away. Because yeah. the cool thing is, it's it's private, but it's right. still social, but it's not right. over the top too many people. Yeah. So everyone gets to participate. Everyone gets something. You my, know, and my I'm, favorite one we have have ever done to date is the one that was in Cleveland. Uh, we had Kyrie there, Johnny Menzel, who was huge at the time, was there. Uh, but the guy I loved the best at in Cleveland was Joe Namath. I got to try ah. on the Super Bowl ring. He was letting people just hang out. Get out try of town. Try the Super Bowl ring. He'd chat with you. I mean, it was unbelievable. So I literally got to sit down with Joe Namath for like 10 minutes just uninterrupted. And he's like, you want to put on the – I mean, he's wearing a Super Bowl three rings. Like, you want to put it on? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you know? It was unbelievable. You were. So uh, really – it's it's a different experience every time we do it, and you know it's we always have to figure out a way to top ourselves, and um, hopefully we can do it this year. But I think we got the good a good foundation so far to, to, to do that. So I'm I'm excited to hear that uh, I'll be seeing you in Atlantic City. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm already planning. I'm, I'm doing an event. It's going to be the tweet and greet. Yeah. Someone's probably going to steal it, but I'm going to do a tweet and greet tweet and, and greet, greet with you guys, right. where I plan to um, just do a break because uh, I did it last year with, with Tracy. Come over right. to your booth and do a tweet and greet, and the guys that that participate with that hashtag can come over, awesome. watch the break, and, and they'll get my fancy packs. And, I love it. You know, something like that. I love it. So, yeah. yeah. I think, fan, I think uh, so you call them fancy packs. I call packs. them fancy packs. I think, uh, <laughs> I think there's going to be some outstanding content this year. Okay. Um, you know, we've upped the ante once again with some of the stuff that's, you know, in some of the, pr in the, some of the promotional packs. So whether it's, you know, higher level of autographs or game used or different wrinkles, I think, uh, once again, we've reset the expectations, uh, you know, for those – for those uh, opportunities this year, and they're all—it's all the mastermind of that guy right there, Scott Prusha. He, oh yeah, 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 yeah you're yeah. in trouble. He puts all that stuff together, so it's yeah. great. So, yeah. Yeah. Have a good weekend, man. I know that you're going to be busy, and I appreciate everything you're doing for us. So. Looking forward to it. Right. Safe trip, yeah, you the same. We'll talk to you soon, Dave. I'll see you in Atlantic City. Next year. Seven. Next year. <laughs> yeah. All right. Keep it coming back to Chicago every other year. Sounds good, buddy. <laughs> oh yeah, it is coming back after yeah. that. Yeah, I'll be in Chicago in 17. So. Yeah, it's going to be fun. So uh, July or August isn't that far away, believe it or not. So. No, I can't believe we're talking about it already. I know. We'll be here before you know. My buddy Ozzy's in Australia. He, um, he, came, to, he came to the National last year. Right. He's a customer. I never met him. He, he came into town. And this is why I love conventions because it's a place where everyone can get together sure. that you've talked to on Twitter or right. your forums or wherever. And uh, he had this plan to propose to his girlfriend. Oh, wow. So I took him downtown for the yeah. day, and he went up to the top of the Sears Tower and proposed to his girlfriend there. And 
it just was the most memorable experience ever. That's cool. You know, and he's he's a card fan. And he had, they don't have that over in Australia. No, no. They don't. They don't have targets. They don't have uh, cards in right. Target. They don't have right. blaster boxes. Yeah. Yeah. It's different. He's like, I can't wait to go to Target. I'm going. Well, you're going to like that, but you're kind of going to like the national. <laughs> a little bit better. Yeah. yeah. He goes, No, sure. I'm telling you, I got to go to Target in the blaster boxes. That's cool. That's so cool. that's that's the fun part. And Absolutely. We, and they love the packs. We call them extended hits because I'll do a break. And depending on how it went, I may grab an extended sure. hit pack Absolutely. because it'll give somebody a hit yeah. that may not have gotten one. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what they're designed for. That's, and they work. They're designed for your guys' use in whatever ma- creative, imaginative way yeah. that, that, that you can use them. And, uh, you know, it's it's a way that we can give back. And uh, more importantly, it's a way that we can, you know, make the customer, the end customer happy, whether it's at the hobby shop level, at the breaker level. Mm-hmm. Um, it doesn't matter. So, uh, you know, there we look at things as these are the collector's assets, right? Redemption cards are not paninis. They they should have been in the box to begin with. That's why we redeem, you know, expired redemptions if we still have the cards in our Which library. is very good, by the way. I meant to tell you that. Because, yes. You know, they're they're your they're they're the collector's cards. They're not ours. This, yeah. this is not our this is not our private collection. Some people will. They won't honor. Exactly. To for yeah, absolutely. I know. I know. I've worked. I work for manufacturers who uh, yeah. who have you know very strict you know cutoff dates and deadlines. We we don't operate that way. And you know when we do these marketing things, we view those packs as the opportunity to you know do something special for the collector. It's, it's their opportunity to enhance their collection and get something that they may not have the opportunity to, to have gotten in a normal setting. So, um, you know, we try to make this hobby what it should be, which is fun. Uh, the bottom line is, is that at the end of the day, no matter how much money we spend or what we collect, we should be enjoying what we do. And, yeah, and that's that's the reason why we get up and go to work every day, uh, because we get to play with cardboard. But more importantly, we get to be in an industry where we enjoy it. We have fun. So. Now, speaking of that, to steal your term, um, who do you collect? Um, Kevin I don't, H. <laughs> I don't collect anybody. <laughs> Who do you collect? I collect. Uh, I collect horns. To, to, I, I collect horn frogs. frogs. That's that's my big collection. I collect. Um, players from my university who are in TCU uniforms. So okay. whether it's on the baseball side, football side, our basketball program really doesn't have a whole lot to be desired yet uh, for guys who push in the professional ranks. But mm-hmm. that's my personal collection. I collect. You know game used helmets and you know things of that nature um, and then I collect old vintage baseball stuff that was created way before I was born ah so, old vintage do you get them graded and stuff or you just collect you know, them to have the cards I, 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 hey now I get, I, I get I get some of it I, I get some of it graded I have some of it just in its raw format yeah. I do sets you know in raw format and uh and whatnot, so uh, you know it's fun. It's I, you know it depends on how much discretionary income I have at any point. In time <laughs> yeah, that's as well. always a factor. <laughs> so I tell these guys, if you want to buy some spots, but I understand your yeah, budget's your yeah, budget. Yeah. I mean, we'd all want to buy exactly. hundred spots. No we all want to buy no like question. I want a Joe Montana, Jerry Rice, and Clark helmet. Yep. But it, yeah, it's, it's not. My my wife doesn't understand if I say we uh, the kids can't eat this month because I spent too much money on, <laughs> on trading cards. So, but what? it's fun. Uh, you know, I have one more um, question that because sure. we talked about a lot of the stuff leading up to this. You know the Panini Authentic uh-huh. stuff. Do you guys have plans to e- expand that, expound it more to to where it does include a ton of items, helmets, and jerseys, kind of like those other companies are doing jerseys, helmets, you know, I, things like like why don't you tap into that? You know, guys. Uh, I don't run our, our, I don't run the Panini Authentic division, but I'll say that you know the vision for Panini Authentic is it for it to be a complementary piece to our core okay. business competencies. Um, we're very selective with the athletes that we bring in. We're just not out there signing anybody and everybody, so we can say that we've got a, a large roster of exclusive um, people. Um, yeah. If you notice on the NFL side, you know Andrew Lux and Des Bryant are our two guys right now who represent the brands. Um, you know, we may be looking to expand upon that, but you know, it's 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 something that we'll be very selective with. On the NBA side, you know, we've got legends like Kobe Bryant, who just retired, and KD, and um, you know, we've and guys like Blake Griffin. But you know, it's not we just aren't out there just inking a ton of guys. Yeah. One because we want to keep that roster very um, exclusive. Um, you know, players who align themselves with us like that exclusivity and, and being in, a, in, a, in an elite group of company. Um, but two, it's also, you know, there's there's a lot of, um, there can be a lot of tripping hazards in the memorabilia business because if guys don't perform up to expectation and things of that nature, then you have this. We want to. Then you got. We want to maintain. Got a lot of stuff. We want to maintain the value of the autograph, yeah. and that's that's really the key. So we don't want to oversign guys and then have to liquidate things like that and potentially damage a guy's future earning potential because we've been um, 
in, irresponsible. I never thought, thought of it that way because if a market turns or changes, yeah. it doesn't pan out. Yeah. Then you have all these it's, items it's like, oh, we have right. a whole bunch of right. Nick Foles and stuff. Exactly, and then and then Nick and <laughs> if you want to use Nick Foles, I'm just I just do it. If out you want to use Nick Foles as an example. Yeah. You liquidate Nick Foles' items or you know move through the rest of his contract, and then Nick Foles is trying to you know continue to oh, earn wow. that secondary income, and he goes out oh, to try wow. to sign a, well, another did. deal, <laughs> and somebody goes, well, your autograph was worth X, now it's only worth Y because company Z, yeah, um, you know, yeah, really yeah. devalued it, and you know you have a you have a relationship problem then that develops between the player, agent, and the organization. So you hear that, guys? That's how it works. That's why. There's but, your answer. And that's why. <laughs> that's so part of the We yeah. are we are very IPA. We are very very selective in what we do. Um, it's not that we're not trying, but there's a certain price and there's a certain you know um, relationship that we have to have with everybody and. Um, I think that you'll see some continued growth in mm -hmm. that business, but it's not something that we're aggressive, aggressively pursuing. It's got to be the right person. Okay. Um, and more importantly, it has to have the right career arc. Um, a lot of those guys is, guys can be very quick in and out, you know, because um, they're the flavor of the month. But we're looking for guys who are, you know, legendary and in, 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 in the opportunity. So, um, you know, Kobe Bryant's with us for the extended period of time, so we'll see a lot of Hall of Fame or retirement pieces and soon-to-be mm -hmm. Hall of Fame pieces uh, that will come out. Um, from the authentic um, side of things, but you know we'll probably focus our efforts a little bit more heavily on guys like Kevin Durant and things like that that still have yet to make a um, you know huge mark in the league, but have a huge marketable opportunity, yeah. especially with his him coming into a free agent year this year. Man, we could sit and talk about stuff for the next four hours. Absolutely, people want to do yeah. panini freaking flawless <laughs> soccer, flawless soccer. Flawless soccer may be the most ridiculous product <laughs> you've ever made. I'm out. I, so nice. Or should I be in? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I can, be, I can you, get it you still sh now you at, at, at you the should tad be, bit under. You should be in. Okay. It's the stupidest. So I should get one. It's the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> and I've seen a lot of stupid trading cards. I mean, we're seeing pricing right now. I'm just like, what? Yeah, I mean, it's going to be $3,800, $3,900 for two of them. But the cards that are... Have you seen some of the stuff that we posted on the blog with the card images of things that have come back from the, from the soccer players? No. I mean, I see what they... Like the the sell sheets you should go look at some of the are. preview picks of the live cards that have come back you'll buy every single case what makes them find. dope then is it just like the crazy like well, what, there think, was something in I there I think for soccer I think for soccer um, you know they call them kits over there but we use jerseys in the terms that we're you know we're accustomed yeah. to here so if you think about soccer jerseys you know they've got multiple colors anyway. They normally have oh, a, they, they normally have a team badge, yeah. uh, you know, or a crest that the club plays under. Um, they have a sponsorship on the on the uniform, um, and then just like the NBA, where shoes are a big deal to the athlete, soccer players, their boots or their cleats. You know, it's a very competitive environment. You have not only do you have Adidas and Nike, but you have Puma. You now have Under Armour that competes in that arena. Um, you know, and in some other companies as well. So they're all trying to make the most creative, dynamic shoes that they can possibly make to make their players stand out. Gotcha. So, for example, for Flawless Soccer, we went to Cristiano Ronaldo and we said, hey, we need to, you know, we need some, some game use stuff. And he obliged. And he sent us a pair of shoes that he wore in a game. And they're all silver glitter. Uh -huh. I mean, they look like a disco mirror ball. It looks like this microphone, like right? CR seven wow. or And he's only worn those shoes. We photo matched them, and they've only he's only worn them in two two games. And that's what Puma had him wear. That's it. So we cut them up. We put them in the flowers, right? So you have the, the big Puma logo. A lot of these guys have got stuff stitched in the inside of their shoes, whether it's their kids' names or some slogan that may be in a you know in a foreign language. I tell you, you have the tongue. Yeah, I was asking you have the tongue pieces, right. all this stuff, right? And then that doesn't even go to like the jerseys and stuff that right. we require. It's just it's ridiculous. So. I mean, super rare too. I'm guessing number wise, ridiculously as as print rare. Run goes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that's it, it, man. Flawless is the most short printed product, yeah. flawless wise that we've done to date. Um, but uh, it's just crazy. So I mean, you got full Puma patches where you know now you're used to pulling a Nike swoosh. Well, now it's a, a full Puma lion, right? And then <laughs> there was soccer. The whole world watches. The whole world watches, right? So what is a what is a you know Cristiano Ronaldo? Captain's armband, one one patch, because we have his captain's <laughs> armband. Ten thousand um, more, more than that. More, ten, more than that. Ten. I would say yeah. eight to ten. Yeah. I think that there's gonna, a one of one. I think there will probably yeah. be two hundred plus cards that are pulled out of that program that are all three thousand dollars. What if there's stuff in there from the World Cup and stuff? Is that what you said? Can you imagine there, that shit? There, there won't. It's there, there won't be any World Cup worn things, but there will be players who participate in the World Cup, obviously, okay. that have. Um, you know, great reach. So it's it's stupid. I encourage everybody to go to the Knights Lance 
search the flawless postings that we've been doing because we've been getting a lot of the autographs back in house and just look at some of the stuff that's there. Yeah. It's oh, ridiculous. I'm going to. It's fun to look at. It's ridiculous. At. You know, the German badge, you know, where they got the four stars. We've cut them up so the four stars are showing through the window. It's in the card. <laughs> it's in the card. It's stupid. So they're on the Knight's Lance. Okay. Yeah, stupid. Because we'll probably just do it and do hit drafts and get 10, ten spots, 10 yeah. cards. Yeah. What was it, 200 bucks? Yeah, that's what you were saying. <laughs> so it, it would be approximately for yeah. us retail. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's going to be It's going to be a big hit. It's going to be a hit draft for a lot of people because I think it's a lot of people have a difficult time of selling, um, you know, uh, you Argentina, can't. you know, and, and the Argentina price would be massive because between yeah. all the guys and then you top it off with a guy like um, uh, Messe, you know, who's the number one player, right. most recognized right, guy right, in the world, right. but you've got all the other guys from Argentina that's there as well. I mean, that slot I would think would be so costly that it probably is best to do a, a hit draft. Yeah, for only 10 cards, you're going to spend X amount yeah. of yeah. however much for that. Once it's picked out, it's yeah. kind of like, uh, yeah, it's going to be crazy. What do we do with these other two? Yeah. What that's about Hemisphere? Cool. What's well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> Do hemisphere break. Like yeah, I mean, yeah. It'll be yeah. like a division. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like divisions, but it's going to be hemispheres. Right. Yeah. You, you yeah. get a hemisphere, yeah. or you get a you get a continent. Yeah. Something like that. Europe, USA. Yeah, there's some really impressive things. Wow. Yeah. Okay. A, wow. Really impressive things. Very exciting. So it sounds like he talked to me. I'm gonna have to get some. Yeah. I, would, I mean, I think it'll be a good. I think it'll be good anyway because it's it's not gonna like tank. No. So, I mean, I'll just be kicking myself in the butt going, remember I could have got that flawless yeah. at this? Yeah. Well, you were talking about that with Select, remember? You were like, I should have got some Select Soccer. Soccer. Select Soccer. Right. Yeah. yeah, but see, the downside is I can't because I don't do soccer, so they just don't hand right. out soccer to yeah. me. Because no, remember I told you that? <laughs> Select Soccer. Uh, uh, that had to been one of your more successful, like surprise kind of products. Yeah, I, of the we year. we knew we knew that it was going to be good when it when it you know when we started putting it together we looked at it and we go wow there's a lot of there's a lot of meat and potatoes in here there's some really good looking cards and it performed as we anticipated but uh, you know the flawless stuff I don't get taken aback all that much by cards anymore I mean I, I'm around them every day I walk by them I see them in production but a couple of the flawless things have come back and I'm gone <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, man, you know, get get get, get, get those in. things in one touches real quick. We're in it. Yeah. So. Wow. Thank you for that. Yeah. Thanks, man. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I appreciate you guys having me on. It's been fun. Yeah. It's been great. So. I, I want to do it like uh, I do a thing called TSB Live. So. Yeah. I basically, you know, I bring in the person via Skype. They'll be up here. Right. And I, you know. That's cool. They can they could jump in a break or a big release night. You're right. You know, like someone could come on you or yeah. the guys from Beckett Derek can come on sure. and talk about their programs and stuff. Yeah, we, yeah. I watch a lot of breaks. I watch a lot of things um, kind of stealthily behind the scenes. But I mean, if yeah, there's ever an just opportunity, cruising through. Yeah, I just kind of I kind of lurk. Lurk, um, lurker. That's it. But uh, yeah, I mean, if there's a night where you want to try to you know get my, me on or somebody from the office, let me know. I, we'll, I wanted to. I we'll definitely want to do that. I want to build it around something that. That is important to you all, like sure. a big whatever, product push. Whatever, hey, maybe. we're the new it football be, license, yeah, and here's what's be, coming out. Or it could be a Mac of basketball. It could be a variety of things. You know, it, yeah. could be, it could be something that's fun. So yeah, we can we can have that conversation offline. Okay. We can maybe uh, you know fold that in. No yeah, problem. We can definitely do that. No problem. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah, I appreciate you guys coming out. Thank you. We chatted for so long, the screens went, went to sleep. <laughs> yeah, but I'm telling you guys. Uh, we, look, we saw, I'm sure, some of the Spectra basketball was coming Oh, out. Spectra basketball. Can't wait for that. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. And it's yeah. like, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Spectra's going to be crazy. But yeah, Is it coming out later than NT? Yeah, that's the, uh, yeah. holy crap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, NC basketball. ships uh, on Monday. Yeah. yeah. Did they do select basketball yet? Did I miss that? You you're breaking the, quite a bit of select basketball. Oh, the select did come out recently. I'm yeah. sorry, you're right. A couple weeks, like a month or so ago. Yeah, we'll have select football this year. That's right. And yeah, 16, that'll be on the same format as select basketball and select soccer was. So I think it'll be. Uh, it's a beautiful product, man. Yeah, I, mean, I think it'll be real successful. I think yeah. he did it last one in 13 with with that, uh, that four, class. Four, Fort. Drew Brees was on it. Yeah, was 13. That? I think it was 13 the last select. Oh, yeah, what's, what's Odell Beckham Jr.'s? Uh, That's 14. 14. 14. Select, so select was 14. Was four, our last year in 14. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, he was a live auto on there, and I know that a lot of people like pull a lot of the colors and stuff because it's hard on signed. So it's when do you track all those guys down for uh, on card? I call them OCDs, on card delights. When 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 do you? Well, it's throughout the year. I mean, these guys these guys will have. Um, you know, we obviously get a lot of things signed at rookie photo shoot yeah. next month. Okay. But then, you know, these guys just have to fulfill their player contract. So, you know, we send stuff to them on a constant basis. So they may receive 
you know, a package from us every week. They may receive two packages a week. Oh, okay. um, it's a constant. They sign well. and send back. They sign and send back and okay. sign and send back. I mean, uh, our office processes thousands of autographs a day that we receive back from athletes from all over the world because of the size of the portfolio between, oh, yeah. you know, basketball and football and, you know, collegiate and soccer. And, you know, when we used to have hockey, I mean, the, the process is massive. I'm amazed that you don't see more. I, I mean, I can honestly say I think out of every single card I've opened for years that I only ever see a sticker on the wrong dude like maybe once ever. Yeah, I mean, not it's, just you. I mean, anywhere. Yeah, I mean, so it's, it's, it's a very, it's a, it's a huge, it's a very time-consuming process. Yeah. A lot. What people don't realize about trading cards is so much of it's built by hand. Mm -hmm. um, so much of the process is by hand. Even like game jerseys, all those cards are built by hand. Um, and they're built upside down, and the people who build them can't see the front. They have no idea because the front hasn't been applied yet. So they literally have a bag of cut material, and this bag of cut material says that this goes into slot slot four, oh. slot four row seven, and a hundred up sheet comes rolling by the production line, and all your job all day is to do to put the material seven right, and you put it in. But if you have a bad moment and you get off by one. All of a sudden, you know, the material goes in the wrong thing, and then it gets laminated if we don't catch it in QC. That's how things like that happen, right? And people go, oh, my gosh, there's no quality control. Or how can you be this, how can you be this dumb? Like, you know, everybody should know that the Buffalo Bills don't have Pittsburgh Steelers colors. And we're like, it's not if, – if people realize it wasn't that simple because when the cards come by, they don't, see they don't know who it is. Know who they don't know – there's no pictures. It's a white cardboard filler where they're filling, they're filling the slot. And if you think about it, if – a four, if, there, if a card has got four memorabilia pieces in it, that same form comes by the line four separate times because this person is oh, filling yeah. this hole, filling this hole, filling. So when you guys like look at treasures and all this other stuff where it's got multiple mem pieces, that's where it's it all originates from. So, um, you know, it's a uh, it's a process, and and that's why we, and that's it's. It's another thing that when collectors go, hey, man, my stuff's been damaged, and, and we try to make cards that are at least near mint to mint or better, that's our corporate goal. And, um, you know, people don't like hearing that, but, I mean, there's a lot of processes, machine and handwork. But if you think about how many times a card is handled between the production, like if we're talking about an autographed game used card or an autographed event used card, that card's been handled multiple times to get the, the, the material in it. It's been QC'd once by hand, and that card gets sent to the athlete where they handle it. They may have a handler who handles it. After they're signing, they may be passing on a table. It's sent back to us. It's QC'd by hand again. Mm -hmm. Then it goes to the, the plant to go put into production where it's in the box, where it's either maybe hand-packed or packed via a machine. You have all these opportunities for cards to be damaged. Right. And we try to pull, we pull thousands of cards every year that are damaged where the autograph isn't good, where it's been dinged in, in transition and production. But you know, every now and then, things yeah, slide is. by. And it's just like, you know, we don't do it to uh, maliciously, you know, try to cheat a collector. It's just things happen. I think people think that there's a dude named Jim or something yeah, that's sitting there, right? And he's like, you know, yeah. okay, <laughs> right? Yeah, like no. all in one stop. Right, no, it yeah. goes through all yeah, goes these through all those processes. It happens. And it's really, I mean, you know, I don't allow that in my chat. They yeah, they're, if they're, anyone starts bitching about yeah, it, it's, it's, it's shut you know, down it's, right away. It's, it's not an, fair. It's an interesting. It's an interesting thing because you know the collecting community doesn't really. We've never provided as a manufacturer really good visuals about what it takes to make a card, and that's why some of the videos that we put up on the Knights Lance are really. Interesting, we like we would show the Tom Brady jersey that where Tom Brady was wearing it, then it comes through and we cut it, we kind of route it through because we want to try to show people, like, you know, some of the yeah, ins, they like to see that, but I know it's also proprietary to an extent yeah. as to why they don't fully reveal, right? We would, we would right. all love to just see the whole freaking <laughs> yeah, thing and all exactly. the processes and all the equipment and right. the big, you know, we picture all these things, yeah. you know, yeah, it's fun. So, yeah, it's, it's a huge process. If you guys ever get to Texas, let us know and uh, you know, we'll give you I the will. we'll give you the nickel tour and uh, you know, let you kind of. Okay. Peek behind the curtain a little bit. All right. I appreciate it. Thanks, so, man. I appreciate it, guys. Very, very Thank much. you guys for being Thank here. You. Thank you guys stuff. very, very much. Thanks for having me. There you have it. Kevin Hack from Punini. <laughs> there we 